All right. Good morning, Bernard. It's, ha it's good to see you today. Good morning, Dr. Priscilla. I'm uh, ready for the lesson. All right. So today we'll read from Breaking News English, Drones Used to Battle Tortoise Killing Ravens. Yes. Okay. So is the tortoise killing ravens? And I thought ravens were birds. Let's find out. What is it? All right, you may start to read when you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, uh, you may start. The runs use it to battle tortoise killing ravens. High tech drones are flying on the defense of the tortoise in California Mojave Desert. The desert tortoise in the western Mojave are under threat of being whipped out by ravens. Okay, this is going to be wiped out. Wiped out. Wiped out, which means to remove. Wiped out means to remove. Okay. okay. The raven is a large version of the crow. Okay, the raven is a larger version. Version. The raven is a larger version of the crow. Mm -hmm. Its population in the Mojev has increased by more than 700% 7 percent, 700 percent mm -hmm. in the past 25 years and is having a catastrophic impact on the desert tortoises. Tor tortoises, tortoises, tortoises. Tortoises, tortoises. Mm -hmm. Alison Frederick. A local conversationist observed that in some places where they where they used to be ten ravens, there are now fifteen thousand. Wow. Oh yes. Mrs. Fredericks noted that if nothing was done to help the tortoises, she would be completely whipped out. White they would be completely wiped out. They will be completely wiped out. Mm -hmm. Their numbers are plummeted by more than 90% since 1990. 1990. Mm -hmm. 1990. Technology is coming to the rescue of the tortoises. A team of biologists and drone operators has come up with a strategy to reduce the raven population. They are using drones and the use of the method of egg hoiling. This involves flying drops, drones up to the raven's nest, removing fertilized eggs, coating them with a film of corn oil, and then replacing them. The oil blocks oxygen from entering the eggs, effectively, effectively ending the life of the embryo inside. Mm. Biologist Mercy Wax said, if ravens figure out that their eggs are rotten, they are likely to eat them and nest someplace else. Conversationist John Griffin said oiling was justified as part of a comprehensive approach that addresses all other factors. Oh. Okay, interesting. So anyway. now I will read the same. Drones used to battle tortoise killing ravens. High-tech drones are flying to the defense of tortoises in California's Mojave Desert. The desert tortoises in the western Mojave are under threat of being wiped out by ravens. The raven is a larger version of the crow. Its population in the Mojave has increased by more than 700% in the past 25 years, and this is having a catastrophic impact on the desert tortoises. Alison Frederick, a local conservationist, observed that in some places where there used to be 10 ravens, there are now 15,000. Mrs. Frederick 
noted that if nothing was done to help the tortoises, they would be completely wiped out. Their numbers have plummeted by more than 90% since 1990. Technology is coming to the rescue of the tortoises. A team of biologists and drone operators has come up with a strategy to reduce the raven population. They are using drones and the use of the method of egg oiling. This involves flying drones up to the raven's nest, removing fertilized eggs, coating them with a film of corn oil, and then replacing them. The oil blocks oxygen from entering the egg, effectively ending the life of the embryo inside, biologist Mercy Vong said. If ravens figure out that their eggs are rotten, they are likely to eat them and nest someplace else. Conservationist John Griffin said, oiling was justified as part of a comprehensive approach that addresses all other factors. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting article. What did you think of this article? Oh, it's interesting. It's surprising because if I understand well, they remove the eggs, the mm -hmm. normal eggs from the nest. They put them down on the heart where the biologist oiled them. After that, the drone put the, put the eggs in the nest again. Mm -hmm. So when the ravens arrive, they imagine that the nest is normal and is not rotten. And they continue to take care of the nest to take care of the eggs, but nobody, there's no birds in this nest because the eggs are died inside. That's correct. And what I was understanding, I think you said it, but with the oiled eggs, the raven comes back to continue sitting, hoping to hatch her birds or her babies. But because the oil is on the eggs, the eggs will not hatch, but the raven is not aware that the eggs are not going to hatch. Is that what you? Hatch must be, hatch, I suppose, is the name to say that the bird is lying on the eggs in order to keep them warm. Okay, in order to keep them warm and maybe also to have them hatch. I think they sit on them until they hatch. Hatch. Until they're ready to be birthed, come alive. Hatch. Hatch means to be birthed, to come to life. Where the shells break, hatch, the shells break and the bird pops up, out. Do you understand? When the shell breaks. The, the egg shell. When the, the yes, they shall break. That's called hatching. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. uh, okay. I understand. Yeah. And I, at first, I thought, why don't they just remove the eggs completely? It seems that if they do that, the raven will just go lay more eggs in a different place. If okay. the raven is sitting on eggs there's no reason for the raven to have more eggs right mm -hmm. is that how you understood it uh, i understood the new world hatch the new uh, new world hatch means that when the bird is enough big he mm -hmm. break the shell of the eggs and he hatch right he, hatch, he hatches but uh, in this case, the ravens uh, made a mistake. They imagine that if they stay lying on the eggs to mm -hmm. keep them warm, the eggs will hatch one day. But mm -hmm. it, never, it never arrived because the bird is died inside the eggs. Right. The ravens stay in the nest. Another, uh, if, for example, if the drones put the eggs and breaks them 
on the earth, mm -hmm. the, the ravens will fly and will build a new, a new nest. Yes. In, in another place. Okay. I yes. Guess. Yes. And mm -hmm. the reason they're putting the oil is to reduce the population of the ravens. So yes. if the ravens are not giving birth, or their eggs are not birthing into small ravens, the population will soon reduce, I think. Not surprising. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think about that? Do you think that they should, that the authorities should be coating the eggs and killing them to some extent? They are yes. killing I, I suppose when you see the, the figure of the statistics, uh, if you want to save the tortoise, it's n it's necessary to kill mm -hmm. the ravens who are so numberless, so 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 important in this country. Mm -hmm. so it seems a good idea because, uh, in fact, I think it doesn't pollute the atmosphere. It only mm -hmm. reduces the number of ravens. Right. I agree. I agree. All right. Now let's look at our vocabulary words. Can you pronounce all of those words in the synonym match? Okay. Under threat. Under, under threat. Under threat. Under threat. Uh, Do you know what that means? Under threat. In danger. Yes, in danger. Mm -hmm. Wipe it out. Wiped is wiped. Wiped. Wiped out. Mm -hmm. Eradic eradicated. Yes, eradicated. Mm -hmm. Catastrophic. Disastrous. Okay, this is going to be catastrophic. 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 Disastrous. Very good. Disastrous. Observed. Noted. Mm hmm. Plummeted. 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 Oh, perhaps eradicated. No, no. Plummeted. The planes plummeted from the sky. Uh, plane plummeted from the sky. Is what does it mean? Eradicated. No, no. No. Uh, Let's see. Plummeted. Plunged. 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 Plunged, plunged, which means to fall down. Okay, okay, I didn't know. Okay. Uh, strategy, application. Okay, application, good. Use. Policy. No, I think it's going to be uh, something else. Let's go to coding. Coding. Uh, Covering. Good. Figure mm -hmm. out. Ready? Comprehend. 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 Comprehensive. It's like a comprehensive insurance policy. All inclusive. Oh, all inclusive. All inclusive. Use. And and use uh, okay. it, it, it's not going to be disastrous but that's so let's say use um use policy use uh, it could be but i'm not so sure policy oh so surprising can... because they're disastrous without we missed one uh disastrous a disastrous is catastrophic. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's okay. do a quick look to see if use is going to be policy. Policy. Oh, what number was it? Use seven. I. Seven. Seven is I use application. 
and strategy. Strategy is not policy. application. Strategy is policy. Policy, yeah. Okay, so we would make this one. Strategy. Okay. Strategy is going to be policy. And use is going to be application. All right, so there we have it. Now, in the few minutes that we have, let's talk about use the word apply. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Oh, here. So, oh, which one of these is the best way to help animals avoid plastic, feeding bees, not eating meat, and donating to the worldwide, what is WWF? Uh, actually, in France, and I suppose in the old world, mm -hmm. the principal aim of uh, the government is to avoid plastic in the future. For example, in France, since uh, 2020, the number of items in plastic will decrease drastically. Okay. Example, uh, well, okay, wait, wait. So which one do you want to talk about? Plastic, bees, meat, or? Avoid plastic, avoid plastic. Okay, let me move this up to here. And I want you to try to use the vocabulary words that we just went over. Okay, so you're going to talk about avoiding plastic. Okay. In the book, as you talk about avoiding plastic, you want to use as many of these words as possible. Okay. When you're ready, you may start. I can start. Mm -hmm. uh, today in the in the world, there's a big uh, problem of environment, and in order to to take care of our environment, plastic is under threat, and uh, it must be banned from our use. It must be whipped whipped out wiped, from wiped 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 out my plastic must wipe out from our daily life mm -hmm. it won't be a catastrophic problem because we can remove plastic by glass for example by using glass by using glass by using glass for example mm -hmm. or other materials like aluminium the metal and uh, if we this problem arrived because we observed in the ocean a big a big amount of plastic who, who are in the water and create a new continent in the ocean mm. and even in the stream in france and other country the number of particles of plastic is very important. The strategy will take some, uh, some years, of course, but by not using the plastic, perhaps we could figure out to clean the planet from this material we can figure out a way to rid or wipe out yes okay. wipe out okay um of course i i suppose we couldn't avoid all the plastic which is actually comprehensive in all the use of our daily life mm -hmm. uh, i Okay, uh, uh, coating, coating, coating. I don't remember the meaning of coating. Remember the, the eggs are coated with oil? Covering, covering. 
Uh, covered. Coding means to cover. Uh, I don't have an idea for this word. It's difficult. Okay. Help, help, help me, please. <laughs> All right. So we know that the drones were used to go to the eggs, and the eggs were coated with oil. So, th so yes. that, so that the raven would continue to sit on the nest in hopes uh, that the eggs would hatch. Uh, we, we can say perhaps the eggs are painting. Painted. By, are painting by all. The eggs are coating by horses. Okay, well, the, the eggs were coated with oil, or the eggs has a coating of oil. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's see, I'll try to do your story. In this article, we learned that uh, the tortoises are under threat and they may be wiped out due to the increased numbers of ravens, which has reached catastrophic proportions as observed by the uh, researchers. The numbers have risen to, I don't know, almost 15,000. Instead of plummeting, the raven numbers are increasing. But to reduce this number so that it would not create such a huge problem, a strategy has been put into use of coating the eggs of the ravens. And now they're trying to figure out how soon this will resolve their problem. They are using a comprehensive approach by considering the number of ravens that are in the park or in this area, and hopefully it will be of some great success. <laughs> okay. Very well, Dr. Priscilla. So it took me a minute to get all of those words in there and think about how I wanted to to use them. All right, sir. That will take us to the end of this reading and digestion for today. I'll stop the recording now.